Hello everybody, this is CGS1 coming out of retirement after four years. Um, wanted to give my thoughts basically on Batman vs. Superman and I'm going to break it down easily by four different little categories. Uh, cast, story, film, and enjoyability of the film. And let's get started. On cast, I thought uh, Ben Affleck as Batman Bruce Wayne was very, very good. Um, he was actually, I thought, better than Christian Bale. I'm still very partial to Michael Keaton's Batman, but definitely very enjoyable, and I really was liking how he presented himself in this film. Henry Cavill as Superman and Clark Kent um, gave, a call, gave off a good performance. Uh, I thought his performance in Man of Steel was better, even though I'm not really fond of that movie that, that much. Um, it is a movie I'll watch from time to time. I've only probably watched it three times since I've owned it. Um... But he still delivered a good Superman performance and I thought did a great job. Um, to me, Christopher Reeve will always be Superman, but that's my opinion. Uh, but he still did deliver a great performance as the Man of Steel. Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. Uh, she was probably one of the best parts of this whole movie, even in what short time that she actually had. Um, did a great job. Um, as Wonder Woman, I mean, just she to me, she was actually Wonder Woman, and she was one of the question marks going into this movie and how she would be portrayed. Uh, her being too skinny, you know, a lot of people were just talking bad about her, but actually, one of the highlights of this movie, and definitely, I'm, I'm not real wanting to see a Wonder Woman solo movie, but it depends on how it looks, whether or not it will be interesting to see or not. So I thought she was great. That's my opinion on her. Um, Amy Adams in this movie was, to me, a waste. Uh, as Lois Lane, she really didn't have much role in, in this movie. Basically, it was for just Clark to save her. And that was just, yeah. She had a better role in Man of Steel by far. Because uh, she's great. I, I like her. I like her, but she was just definitely a total waste. Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor in this movie was just fucking god awful. I couldn't stand every time he came on screen, it just fucking irritated the hell out of me. His whole performance was awful. Um, I did like him in like zombie movies like Zombie Land and stuff like that, but for, as of Lex uh, Lex Luthor, no, he was trying to be like a Jim Carrey, like an insane Lex Luthor, and it just did not work for me. I, every time he was on screen, I just cringed, and I could not stand it. But uh, you know, I'm. I'm not in the minority here. I know a lot of people didn't like it. What are your thoughts? Leave it in the comment box below. But that's just my opinion on Lex Luthor. As far as story goes, the story is very meh. Um, I didn't like a lot of the parts of at the beginning where they were trying to, you know, basically put Superman out like that. They could have definitely used what happened in Man of Steel to make it where that was the conflict of Batman versus Superman. Um, it it was just very poorly done in my opinion. I, if there was apparently a lot cut out of this movie, and it it showed it, it it to me the story was just not there. Um, don't get me wrong, the last thirty minutes is definitely fucking worth it, but uh, as far as the story, it was definitely shit to me. As far as the filming goes, um, a lot of it, the action sequences and stuff like that, they, they looked really well done, very good. Um, I like Doomsday in this film. Um, just a lot of the destruction and stuff. That's going to be like any kind of summer type movie that you get. You're going to have all kinds of all hell breaking loose basically. But uh, as far as filmography goes, they cut so much out of this movie. Because it was supposed to be cut down to what is supposed to be an R rated movie or whatever when it comes out on Blu-ray. But it was just, it was not done finished you know and it shows the cutting back and forth um just it kind of just takes out of front of the movie and it just it just doesn't make it where it's very enjoyable as far as uh when you see it feels like things are missing in this movie and there's and i guarantee you when the blu-ray comes out that we're going to see when we see the r-rated version that version might actually be better but I still think that there's also some things in this film that they could have kept out of the story that they could have just left out totally and the movie would have been a lot better as far as overall in it. 
So, I, like I said, this is my opinion on what I saw when I was watching this. Enjoyment of this film will come down to basically Eye of the Beholder. I am a comic book fan, so therefore, any I, I'll go watch almost every superhero movie that comes out. And to be honest, I give this movie a 3 out of 5. Um, it is enjoyable, especially the last 30 minutes of the film. But it does have its problems um, that can be overlooked. I mean, if you can look overlook Batman and Robin as a film, this is the, I think this is better than Batman and Robin. So, therefore, I will definitely buy, pick this up on Blu-ray and watch it again. But it's definitely not in my top tier of favorite comic book movies. Well, that's my opinion on it, though. Anyways, guys, uh, please leave your comment box. Leave your comment in the box below. Let me know what you think of uh, me coming back and doing reviews. Do you want me to keep, come, you know, do you guys want me back doing reviews or whatnot? Just let me know what's going on. What was your thoughts on the movie? Um, that's really it. And until next time, guys.